Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Kelsey if you're new here and I'm so excited for you to come along on my health journey. So I'm just starting off another vlog today. I just uploaded my second weight loss vlog. So definitely go check that out if you haven't yet. Um, sorry, my hair looks crazy. I just woke up a little bit ago. Just sipping on my one point coffee, half a caramel salted caramel quest shake two shots of new orleans cold brew some water and nine grams of fat free ready whip same as always um so today should be pretty chill um i'm not i don't plan on doing much so i will just show y'all what i eat today and yeah i hope y'all enjoy this video i just want to show y'all these shorts i got from lululemon they are the track that hr shirt hr short three inch line um i just have my shirt like folded up because i want y'all to see them but they're really cute um i got two different pairs and i'm trying to figure out which one i should keep so let me know in the comments if y'all like this one or the one i'm about to show y'all and this is it up close it's really cute the logo's right there or these are the second one it's and these are really cute i don't know if y'all can see i don't think it's showing up but it just has like the lululemon on the band and i've never seen that before and they have the logo all over the shorts this is the hottie hot short four inch logo um these are like super different and they're like a lot more like loose fitting um i i think i could have probably sized down honestly but I'm kind of bigger in this area, so I wanted to make sure it fit. Um, this is what the back looks like. But yeah, and this is it up close. You can kind of see like all the logos and yeah. So I guess just let me know in the comments which one y'all like. I don't think I should keep both of them because they're both just like a black pair of shorts and obviously they're expensive, so yeah. Um, lunch, just the same thing as I showed y'all in the last vlog, but if you missed it, I have eggs and fat-free cheese for zero points. I didn't use enough cheese to count for one point. Just a couple of slices of some turkey for zero points. Six of these little mini Joe's of Speedas for two points. Um, 13 grams of the Trader Joe's eggplant and garlic spread for zero points. One of these Strong Roots cauliflower hash browns for two points. A zero points worth of ketchup and some fruit. So all together, this is a four point breakfast and it's literally so good. I've been obsessed. These little pita breads are delicious. I got mine at Walmart. So yeah, I just wanted to show y'all what I'm having and I will be back. So later. I just, sorry the camera is like weird. I don't have my tripod or anything. So it's just kind of leaning up against my car. Um, but I just wanted to show y'all what, I'm at my boyfriend's um, apartment. I just like got here and I always bring food with me because he eats like chicken nuggets for every meal. So um, I have two points worth of these baby goldfish for a snack and then a banana for the snack. And then for dinner, um, it doesn't look appetizing, but I just have some um, leftover Italian creamy chicken and some corn on the side. I'm having the creamy Italian chicken with some like three points worth of rice and one cup of the creamy Italian chicken's three points. So the whole um, dinner is going to be three, uh, six points because the corn zero. So that's all I'm having for dinner. And then I also brought one of these Waterloo coconut um, sparkling waters with some of this cherry lime black, black cherry lime um, crystal light to put in it. Um, I have known about these Waterloo um, sparkling waters for like a while. Um, my favorite's a strawberry one. I got it like probably a couple years ago for the first time, found it at Whole Foods. And I've loved it ever since. So definitely if you like sparkling waters, check out that brand because it's really good. And usually Whole Foods always has like a sale on them. They're like two for like $8 or two cases for $8 or something like that. But yeah, I just wanted to show y'all what I brought to my boyfriend's house. Um, and then I'll probably be back home to get dessert. So I will show y'all what I have for dessert. 
Um, but yeah, I just wanted to let y'all know what I'm having and I will see y'all hey soon. Guys, I just wanted to show y'all what I am having for um, dessert. I have 17 grams of these kettle corn popcorners for two smart points. I've talked about these a bunch on my channel. Um, I just those one of those pastry crisps for four smart points. And then a sugar-free pudding swirl cup with um, zero points worth of Fat 3 Ready Whip. So this is two for two. So this is an eight point um, dessert. Hey guys, I just wanted to apologize for not having a super, oops, a super creative um, dessert or like day with food. But tomorrow I have some exciting stuff to show y'all. So definitely stay tuned um, and don't close out yet because I have some good stuff tomorrow. But yeah, that's going to close off the vlog for tonight. But keep watching because I'm going to have another day tomorrow. Good morning, everybody. I hope everyone's having a good day. It is, I can't get this back in my rear view mirror. It is Tuesday. Um, I just got back in the car from Walmart. I had to get a few things for what I'm making tonight. Um, it's going to be a yummy recipe. I'm excited. I've never tried it before. Um, it is currently 92 degrees already. And I left my iron flask in the car and it stayed so cold. Um, I mean the outside top but the inside still has ice in it. But yeah, I just wanted to check in with y'all and I will show y'all what I got from Walmart when I get home. Usually I'll do like a little in the car grocery haul, but um, my, sorry, I thought I lost my wallet for a second. My stuff is like a lot this time, like I got more than usual. Um, so yeah, I will show y'all when I get home. Okay, so the first thing I got from Walmart were some Seedless grapes. They just looked really good and I love my grapes like crisp. Um, and I might put some of the sugar-free, fat-free Jello, um, lime Jello on there and then freeze them because it makes a really nice sweet treat if you don't have points or if you don't want to spend any points. I got some grape tomatoes. Um, this is for a recipe tonight. Same with this premium romaine salad. Um, two packages of the broccoli florets. Um, you can steam them in these bags so it's really easy to just um, pop in the microwave. They're frozen and they're a dollar each so like it's a no-brainer to me. Um, I got some of this queso blanco dip. I really like the salsa con queso but I've had this before I'm pretty sure and it's the same amount of points so I decided to just switch it up a little bit. These are breaking the internet, specifically this one. Um, I don't think I'll like it, but it was 50 cents. So I was like, why not try it? I'm not usually a fan of super sweet like things. So we'll see. But this one really sounded good to me. Love coconut and pineapple. I will do a little review for y'all. Um, Fat-free cream cheese. Actually, the only way, the only place I can find it is um, Walmart. So always pick some up on there. They stay good for a while. Velveeta slices. I have never seen the sharp cheddar kind and it's still one point. So I picked this up instead of just the original. I thought that would be good. And I'll definitely let y'all know on my Instagram how that is. So definitely stay tuned if y'all want like a review on my Instagram. Um, some sugar-free jello pudding. Um, these are two points each. I usually get the swirl, the chocolate vanilla swirl. They didn't have any though. And I like the vanilla, so got that. So hamburger seasoning for the recipe tonight, as well as light mayo. It's specifically called for the craft light mayo because I think it's a little bit less in point. So I got this, um, even though I usually prefer Hellman's, but whatever. And then just some more makeup wipes because I was completely out. And yeah, so that was my little Walmart grocery haul. So I am just editing my this video that y'all are watching right now. Um, and I just finished my coffee. I didn't show y'all because it's repetitive. Same thing every day. If you don't know what I have for my coffee, it's in the earlier part of this video. Um, I am going to make some breakfast in a second and show y'all what I made. Same breakfast as yesterday as in the past like three days. Sorry, it's like repetitive, but it's what I eat and crave every day. So... 
Zero for the eggs and cheese. I use fat free cheddar, not enough to count as one point. Strong Roots Cauliflower Hash Brown, two points. Zero points for Hillshire Horm Natural Slow Roasted Turkey. Six of these Joseph's Pita's Mini Bites for two points. And zero points worth of the Trader Joe's Eggplant and Garlic Spread. So this is a four point breakfast and I have some fruit on the side. I am going to try out this cotton candy clear American drink and tell y'all the truth. If it's worth the hype, you know how it goes. Okay, so it is zero points, zero calories per 12 ounces, 12 fluid ounces, and then 10 calories for the whole container. It smells like blue raspberry. I'm scared because I don't I don't know if I'm gonna like it. Okay. Okay. That's actually really good, but it doesn't taste like cotton candy. I think it tastes like the blue raspberry starburst like drink powder. That's what I think it tastes like, and it's not super sweet. I actually really like it. I wasn't expecting to like it, but it's not like an overwhelming flavor or anything. Um, Cause I don't normally like like cotton candy or like super sweet things. That's why I don't like the um, Starburst like powders cause I think they're way too sweet, but these, this is like not sweet. Yeah, that's really, really good. <laughs> I wasn't expecting to like it y'all, I wasn't gonna join in with the hype but I guess I'm joining in with the hype so if y'all see these they're 50 cents definitely recommend going grab them for dinner I am having the Big Mac salad um I saw Olivia Frida Curves do this the other day and I've always heard about the recipe like off and on since I joined Weight Watchers but I never made it because I just like kept forgetting it about it but um Olivia made it in her last video and I was like yeah let me just make it so I got all this stuff and I'm going to show y'all how to make it just stay tuned if y'all are interested it sounds really really good so yeah okay so for the like thousand island sauce that goes on the Big Mac in a bowl um these are the things you're gonna need you're gonna need Two tablespoons of light mayo, two tablespoons of 0% non-fat Greek yogurt. I don't have that shown right now, but I'll get it out after. Two tablespoons of no sugar added ketchup. One, a half a tablespoon of water, one tablespoon of minced onion, one teaspoon of sugar, one teaspoon of sweet pickle relish. I just have the Wickles relish. It's a little spicy, but it's still good. Um, and then a dash of salt. So I will show y'all how I put all of this together. that goes on a Big Mac salad. Now I'm gonna show y'all everything else you need. So you're gonna need one pound of 96% ground beef, one teaspoon of onion salt to season the meat, and I'm also gonna put some of this hamburger seasoning in it. It doesn't call for that, but I thought it sounded good. Um, some garlic for the meat and some Worcestershire. You need um, one teaspoon of Worcestershire, one teaspoon of minced garlic. I'll probably put more because I love garlic. Um, a half a teaspoon of onion salt. Um, some romaine lettuce or iceberg lettuce chopped. Um, you can buy like the um, romaine in the like bunches, but I just got it already chopped. Um, I have calls for 12 great tomatoes sl sliced or diced. Um, so I have these, just like a variety. And then um, a half of a small red or white onion. Um, diced, I have that right here, I diced it earlier. And then one cup of light cheddar cheese. This is um, all I have left, so I'll probably just use the fourth a cup portion for mine and then use regular for my parents. 
and then 12 dill pickles dice which those are in the fridge still but yeah this is all you need for it and i will show y'all when it's put together all right guys so here's the tea i forgot to video it before i mixed it up but i took a picture so i'll put that on the screen um i'm going to try this and let y'all know how it is and of course the um, recipe will be um, in the description down below. Okay, so here goes, a bite. Y'all, that tastes exactly like a Big Mac, I'm not even kidding. Wait, I'm so shook. I don't know why I didn't try this sooner. That's so good. I'm going to make that all the time. It was so easy too. Um, sorry I didn't get a video of it before I mixed it. I'm literally starving. So I'm going to go eat that and I'll be back for dessert. I just wanted to show y'all what I'm having for dessert. Basically the same thing I've been having. 17 grams of kettle corn popcorns for two smart points. A cookies and cream uh, special K pastry crisp for four, four, bleh, four smart points. And then a sugar free vanilla pudding. Um, for two smart points, nine grams of fat free ready for it. For zero smart points, a little drizzle of zero smart points worth of sugar free uh, caramel, and then six of the milk chocolate Lily's chocolate chips for zero smart points. So, this is an eight point dessert. I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching these videos, and I hope you're enjoying these vlog style, um, what are you eating today type things. Um, I'm gonna enjoy my dessert and edit this video so I can have it up tomorrow for you guys and yeah I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching it truly means so much to me I have so much fun making these videos and yeah I will see y'all in the next video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you're new here and comment down below what you want me to make 